how does my customer buy my product? And how do I meet them where they're at? And what are the available tools to do that, right? Because as you sort of lose the ability to go, okay, this platform is telling me the exact thing of what's happening in a way that I 100% trust. Not that everyone, anyone really ever 100% trusted Facebook. Cookies going away. Yeah. Tracking, poof, awful. Attribution, awful. A mess, yeah. How should brands look at their strategy, I guess, you know, and, and you're telling them to start measuring these things and plan an attack and forecast revenue. How can they look at their strategy and measure success when every platform is losing reporting or double attributing or like, you know, it's crazy. I've seen, I've seen brands scale on, on, on six different channels, but they're, but I mean, they're per, like they were getting like five X on every single channel, but they were losing total, money. The total reported revenue is larger than the website. Revenue. <laughs> ex ex yeah. Exactly. So, you, so your, your triple report, a triple attribution, how can they measure their advertising um, and marketing success? And what does marketing even look like uh, yeah. in the new world? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. And I think we're in very real time discovering the answer to that. Um, and this is one of those things that, you know, I've, I've seen some people with a perspective that's like long-term what this is going to force the industry to do is um, going to be healthy and that we're going to have a lot more first party data. You're going to be a lot more focused on thinking about uh, the quality of the content that you're creating versus like the mechanisms of optimization. And in the long run, that might be true, but there's going to be pain along the way. And I think in it, at the end of the day, like the I put out a tweet the other day, sort of a joke, but it's like the best attribution mechanism is your checking account. And it's like this idea that you have to start from the top down and then you have to try and correlate the results as best as you can, right? So we always focus revenue and MER, so total sales over total ad spend. And we look at that ratio and then we try and understand the primary growth engines of that, right? So you have to get clear on your customer journey. So one thing I like to look at a lot is like, time lag reports or path length reports, right? Where you go and see like, okay, how many visits on average is it for my customers to make a purchase? How many days? And so in that, you can begin to understand how your customer thinks about buying. Then you can think about what role an ad might play in that journey, right? So you can say like, if you have a brand where you go to the path length report in Google Analytics and you see that 80% of your purchases happen on the first visit, okay? Well, what that can tell me is that the primary like first touch attribution models, the things that are driving the initial visit are really, really valuable and important to me, right? Now, if I have a longer consideration phase where it turns out that only 40% of my purchases happen on the first visit, now I've got to think about, now I've probably got a more complicated attribution model that's going to involve a lot more touches along the way. And I've got to think about the application of that journey. Now, it's important for me to understand what they're doing when they leave. Because a lot of times what that signals is that there's an additional layer of consideration that often is like they're going to YouTube and reading reviews or they're searching product reviews. And you've got to think about not just the advertising mechanism, but how are you meeting the customer in their journey? And so sometimes it's like, yeah, attribution, advertising, but it's really taking a step back and going, how does my customer buy my product? And how do I meet them where they're at? And what are the available tools to do that, right? Because as you sort of lose the ability to go, okay, this platform is telling me the exact thing of what's happening in a way that I 100% trust. Not that everyone, anyone really ever 100% trusted Facebook, but I think it, it, it gets back more to first principles about what is happening in, to the customer in that process and how do I meet them there? Aside from the fact that most most uh, most businesses don't ever don't ever set up their Google Analytics correctly. Yeah, so. right. well, that's a separate issue altogether. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, how important is to look at that same model on each platform? So, you know, when I th so when we say each platform, let's talk through sort of what we think about specifically, right? So Facebook represents, I would say across our portfolio, about 65 per to 70% of spend in reality. And it depends on the, you know, the, the size of the business, but usually that's the primary thing, right? So on Facebook, um, I think that we would all agree that consideration for funnel stages is hypercritical and really understanding, you know, having a plan for prospecting versus website visitors versus, you know, uh, what we would call lapsed customers. And we're pretty diligent about excluding existing customers as a mechanism on, on, on advertising. We try as best we can to control that through owned audiences and email and SMS with the exception of like a lot of big apparel brands that have big promotional launches where we'll sort of sequence it where we'll allow an email to do 24 hours of work and then pick up on the customers that didn't interact with the email from there. So like there's ways to think about what role it plays in that journey. Um, another thing I'm like really interested in is brands that actually think about post purchases experience on social, not mm -hmm. just for a transactional layer, but for a brand experience layer, like here's how to use it. Here's how to have the best experience with the product and delivering content that way. So yeah, again, where is my customer? Who are they? What is the information they need to know right now? Super critical. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want, check out our most recent video over here.
And this one is the one YouTube thinks you'll like. But if you really enjoyed watching, please do me a favor, like and subscribe over here. Thank you so much.